Today, we are talking to Belle Hernandez and Enrique Castillo, and they are the power couple of Hollywood, and I'm so excited to have them. I am thrilled, first of all. You're like one of my favorite people. And so, we've known each other for a while. A long time. Yeah. A long my favorite time. people, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she should be one of your favorite people. I like Trump. Um, uh, we we'll want talk about that. I wanted to talk to you about show business because Enrique is an actor, writer, director, producer who has this fabulous book out called The Dead of Summer, a novel, thriller, yes. that was based off of your, a screenplay you wrote. Right. Fabulous. And we're called going to, uh, Valley of the Dead. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. And I just want to give a quick intro to Bell Hernandez, who is the CEO and publisher of Latin Heat, author, a journalist, an actor. She's the big cheese. That's all I have to say. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about is what made you want to do acting? Love movies ever since I was a kid, mimicking primarily universal monsters. <laughs> uh, it was always really exciting. I um, had no idea of looking at it as a craft or anything about money or anything like that. I just like the idea of being able to um, slip into somebody else's clothes and, and see what it felt like. You started early. Well, I moved to L.A. in 1978, but before that I was working with Luis Valdez's El Teatro Campesino, uh, which came out of the, out right. of the uh, grape North. strike. That was when he was going to Berkeley. You met right, him there, right? Right. I met him at Berkeley. He was a professor there. And I took his course in Chicano theater because uh, he'd been recommended by somebody, one of the uh, uh, one of the counselors that said, well, you know, if you like acting, this guy has connections to Hollywood, which at that time it was like the furthest thing from any, any Chicano's mind, really. And we got we got along great. I did a lot of we we actually started a theater company at the university and did some touring with the production by Isidro Macias called The Ultimate Pendejada. <laughs> it's about, it about Chicanos selling out. <laughs> and then in 1978, I moved down to L.A. And he was, I, had, I was no longer a member of the company, but he was producing Zoot Suit. And Pepe Serna, who we all know too, a great actor, he had been in the workshop production of, of uh, Zoot Suit. And then uh, as we were in class together, he, he, he told me that he had been cast in a movie that we were both up for. He got the role. And then he said, but I'm not going to be in the play, so why don't you you know give it a shot um and i did so since luis knew i could do the work and i understood the work that he wanted to do i auditioned and got cast and i worked in the production for about a year wow you did the aquarius theater uh started at the taper at the taper yeah and then we moved on to the aquarius and um, that's where it ran for almost a year yeah wow. it ran for about nine nine months i think that's why i went to see it at yeah. the Aquarius. You saw both of us. Yeah, yeah that's right. where I met my wife. That's where we met. <laughs> wow. I, yeah. You know, I, I came to L.A. in 78. So oh. that okay. was like my Same first time. big Latino production. That It was like a, a amazing. I remember going to see matinees of it because you could get cheaper tickets. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, you know, now they're doing it again. Yes. 40 years afterwards. Yes. They're celebrating. So. so you guys met. So this is what, now we're getting juicy. So you guys <laughs> met on 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 the on the uh, on the show. Yes. yes. So I was a dancer. I was not an actress. I came from a dance world. And when they needed uh, the cast, the first cast was going to New York. Part of the first cast, most of the cast was going to New York to be on Broadway. Some of them stayed. Enrique stayed. And so they needed dancers. So my friend uh, Miguel Delgado, he was the assistant choreographer and played Rafa. As he says audition and I said okay and so I auditioned and I got in as a, a an understudy and as a, as a dancer let me let me correct the record <laughs> because because prior to the second cast coming in see Alice Cooper's wife mm -hmm. the rock star was in the company oh, wow. and another one of Alice, Alice's uh, dancers was in the company also, as a course line dancer, they were going to be leaving because Alice was going on tour. Mm. That's why they needed Belle to come in yeah. to replace Rose Aragon, who was wow. one of the dancers. Yeah. That's why she came in. She didn't come in. She came prior to the second cast coming. So she was a veteran. Already. So I was already. <laughs> I was part of the first cast for a little yes. bit, for uh -huh. two weeks. But it was great. I mean, it was wonderful. That was my introduction to acting. Wow. Because uh, I thought it was great. If actors. 
would get a standing ovation every night. You had John Travolta come to see your show and come backstage and tell you how the great the show was. The governor was there. The governor was there. I'm like, I like acting. I think I want to be an actor. <laughs> and then the next time I did a play, there was like crickets. It's like, hello, anybody out there? So it was just a wonderful play to be part of. It introduced me to like acting, but really, to be in a hit play, how often does that happen? It was wonderful. You guys started at the top. It was like you, you know, it's to have that kind of entree yes. as your first big thing in Hollywood. That's well, from impressive. there, Enrique went and he got uh, a big major role in uh, Borderline, a yeah. movie wow. with Charles yes. Bronson, yes. which was a movie where Ed Harris also started out. It was his first wow. movie as well. Right, right. So Panchi, it led to a Panchi lot of things. Gomez was in it, Jimmy Victor. And then he got a role on The Waltons. Wow. As a the as a military hero. The only on the Walters right? Ever. <laughs> yes, I think so. But anyway, yeah, that's how... Well, that's actually, how you, you've had a, a few roles on television where you were pretty much the only Latino. Yeah. I, I kind of felt... I got a sense of what Ricardo Montalban must have felt like, you know. <laughs> Certainly for a long, long time, it was like, you know, you come on the set and where's the rest of La Raza, you know? They're on the catering trucks most of the time, but never never in a scene with you. It's nice to see the change now. Yes, yes, yes it, it, has, it has gotten better. What are three of your favorite roles that you've done? Well, we can't discount Pedro Segura, Montana, mm -hmm. in Blood In, Blood Out. That's one of the more memorable ones. I'll tell you, my favorite movie is El Norte. It's always been my favorite. Very, very important. It just launched the whole genre, unfortunately, of the immigrants, the Latino immigrants. So well done, beautifully shot wonderfully directed, written, and the script was nominated for Best Original Screenplay mm -hmm. uh, for an Academy Award, and made lifelong friendships with David Del Pando, who played the lead, Saida Silvia Gutierrez. No stars whatsoever, mm -hmm. in three languages. Wow. So anybody that says English only, you know. Unfortunately, um, the production itself was was extremely low budget and uh, it was it was PBS was it a PBS? it was for PBS originally for a, 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 the Playhouse was it the American Playhouse oh, right. American PBS. Playhouse yeah. and the role that you played was I was Jorge the dishwasher who befriends uh, um, David's character Enrique when he were working at a restaurant together and I kind of teach him the ropes about how to survive you know in LA in terms of roles. Um, you know, as an actor, you kind of don't really want to judge any of them. I like Memo because he plays such a good sellout in, <laughs> La, in Mi Familia. You contrast that with, <laughs> with uh, Montana from Blood and Blood Out, and that, that's, that's a, you know, a 180 degree range there. Uh, but that, that char character is fun to play. At some point, you decided, I'm going to start a theater company. Well, I joined actually. Um, a company that was already at LETC, which was the Latino Theater Lab at the time, and then later became the Latino Theater Company. Um, it was just another another group within LATC, invited by Jose Luis Valenzuela to do one production there. And then I really enjoyed working with them. So I became a, a staple, you know, at, at the LATC productions with the company there. When LATC went belly up, we decided to stay in the building and lay siege to it, and we slept there and ate there. And took it over. We took it over, and they, you know, we they were threatening to take kick us out, and we said, okay, we're gonna get the chains and chain ourselves to the pillars. But uh, they capitulated. The city capitulated and and decided to uh, let us be there. Eventually, we went to the taper and then came back, and now the company's back to LATC. And then you started. Uh the brown hats? Four brown hats. The four brown hats. That was uh, with the production of The Last Angry Brown Hat by Alfredo Ramos, which is a an homage to the Chicano movement, and in particular, August 29, 1970, uh, when all that violence happened by the police against the people. Mm -hmm. The murder of Ruben Salazar, I consider it that. Brown lives matter. Brown yes. lives matter, and they always have and always will. And that production, eventually, I took part of the name, for, we made it four brown hats, along with three other partners. And uh, we toured that production for about four years across the country, and was very successful with a cross-section of audience, whether it was all female, all African-American, or mostly African-American, Anglo, whatever, students, inmates that were incarcerated, 
everybody, everybody loved that production. We wanted to do it as a screenplay, and I think one of our one of my former partners has actually done a film of it. So hopefully, everybody gets to see it. I hope you enjoyed this segment with Bell Hernandez and Enrique Castillo. And if you want, you can get more information on them from IMDb or latinheat.com. Until next time, check me out on YouTube and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hashtag keep common sense.